Sputnik V, the Russian vaccine, raised lot of eyebrows in the early stage due to its unusual approach. Recently, they have published their phase 2 interim data in Lancet. We are going to discuss about it today. Hello my dear friends, I am Poonam and you are watching Biology Explained. The bottom line is that Sputnik V is found to have 91.6% efficacy against COVID-19. Now let's understand how they have conducted the study. So the study was collected from 7th of September to November 24th, 2020. The data was collected from 25 hospitals and polyclinics in Moscow, Russia. So what it seems, although they have done the trial outside Russia, like in UAE, Venezuela, Belarus, India, but most of the data is from Russia. I am hoping data from these countries will come soon. So there were 19,866 participants who received two doses and they were between age group 18 to 60. Of this 19,866 participants, 14,964 received vaccine and 4,902 received placebo that is some inert substance without vaccine. So its ratio is 3 is to 1 for vaccinated and placebo group. Although in other studies 1 is to 1 ratio is observed in case of Sputnik V 3 is to 1 ratio is seen. However there is no harm with this. There are two kinds of outcome from this study, the primary outcome and the secondary outcome. The primary outcome was to see the proportion of participants having COVID-19 after 21 days from the first dose of vaccination. And from this observation, it was found that 16 participants, that is 0.1%, got COVID-19 in the vaccinated group and 62 participants, that is 1.3, had COVID-19 in the placebo group. This data confirmed the efficacy of the vaccine to be 91.6%. And it was found that the vaccine efficacy was similar even in the older groups. And there was no severe or moderate COVID-19 in vaccinated group while there were 20 cases of moderate or severe COVID-19 in the placebo group. So the vaccine efficacy against moderate or severe COVID-19 was 100%. Now let's talk about the secondary outcome. The secondary outcome addressed the question how much antibody was developed against SARS-CoV-2 spike protein in the vaccinated and placebo group and also about the cellular response. It was found that 98% of the participant had receptor binding domain specific antibody and in placebo group only 15% had the same antibody. So it seems that the vaccinated group is producing significantly higher number of antibodies. Now the question is how long these antibodies will stay? So for now the answer is we don't know. Cellular response was also significantly higher in the vaccinated group. So till now all seems to be good. The vaccine is highly efficacious, severity is reduced and it produces good amount of antibody response. 45 participants in the vaccinated group and 23 participants in the placebo group had serious adverse events and 4 deaths in the vaccinated group and one death in the placebo group was found. However, they were not considered to be related to the vaccination. The storage temperature of the vaccine is minus 18 degrees centigrade. However, they can also be stored in fridge temperature when it is freeze dried. It will cost $10 per dose and it is a two dose vaccine. This vaccine has two kinds of adenovirus vector. One is adenovirus 26 and the other is adenovirus 5. You might be hearing about adenovirus vector a lot and might be wondering what it means. 
I will try to explain briefly. However, some of you might find the next part to be boring, so you can leave the video here. But please do me a favor, hit the like button and subscribe my channel. For those who are staying with me, let's continue. Basically, what is vector? A vector is like a vehicle, it carries something and transport it from one location to other. For example, adenovirus vector means it is an adenovirus which causes common cold in general. However, the scientists have taken out the gene which is responsible for reproduction. So a vector cannot reproduce anymore by itself. Now the gene of SARS-CoV-2 virus which is responsible for production of spike protein is introduced into the vector. The vector with the gene is then injected inside the human body. Once it is introduced into the cell, our body will synthesize antibodies against the spike protein. So our body is well armed with the spike protein antibody. So now if we are infected with the original SARS-CoV-2 virus, our body can fight faster. Now in case of Sputnik V, scientists have used two kinds of adenovirus. The first dose requires adenovirus 26 vector and the second dose requires adenovirus 5 vector. This is unique approach and according to the scientist, two kinds of adenovirus will help in stronger immune response. For a quick comparison, Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine has similar technology but their vector is chimpanzee adenovirus vector while Sputnik V has used human adenovirus. Both vaccine needs two doses. Sputnik V administered the doses in 21 days apart. Another vaccine produced by Johnson & Johnson also uses adenovirus 26. But this vaccine requires only one dose. We will talk about this vaccine soon. At this point, we don't know whether the Sputnik V vaccine produces transmissibility of the disease because this will help in ending the pandemic. Another question of concern is whether it will work with same efficacy in different ethnic groups. More data will give the answer. I will stop here today. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe my channel for more video. Thank you.